Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Many of you, as I converse with you across the country through email or even on the phone, I know a lot of you are now working at home based upon business and some of the downsizing of some of our companies out there. You've taken your job home because they're saving overhead and so are you by not commuting. However, here's something I want you to think about. If you're working at home, there's a couple of things about working at home that you've got to take into consideration. First of all, your home is kind of your sanctuary or your little resort or your place to rejuvenate. If you're working from home and you have work scattered all over the house and the living room and the dining room and the bedroom and the bathroom <laughs> and the kitchen, what's going to happen is you're never going to be able to release that work from your mind and I'm finding many people have a hard time sleeping at night because a lot of what's going on is they cannot turn the mind off because everywhere they look, they're reminded of their work. Here's a suggestion for you. There's two rooms in your home that absolutely have to be free from any association with work. And you're going to be surprised about one of them because it's really one of the most difficult places not to have something there with it. The first one is obvious. It's the bedroom. If you have an office in your bedroom, you've got to disguise it in some way or have it in a cabinet where you can kind of close the doors on it or at least stack things in a little basket and just put them to the side where it's just not obvious papers laying around where you're always associating, I got to get that done, I have to do this, I have to do that. But the second room that we absolutely have to have free from the work environment for two primary reasons, a technical reason and an emotional reason, is the kitchen. If you have work in the kitchen, you're going to be unable to really concentrate on family time in that area. Also, the dangers if you have a computer in the kitchen or any kind of electronic machinery is getting food and water and anything else inside of that machine that's going to absolutely destroy it and could destroy your work. Also in the kitchen, it's a place where we want to gather and it's a family gathering place. Many times the kitchen is almost like a family room. If you have your work in that room, it's going to be hard for you to let loose of that vibe that you put out about being at work because, again, you're associating to what's going on in your life work-wise, and you can't get on the, the family track. The bedroom and the kitchen, the two taboo areas to have work-associated environments in your home. Let's take a look at the way we're living our life. If you're having a hard time sleeping, those could be some of the reasons right there. Also, if you find yourself with a strained relationship, maybe it's because the vibe you put out at home because you work there isn't 100% into your significant other or your family. Let's find out about that. Let's check that out with ourselves and make some adjustments. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary home life without the association of work. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.